We are deep into hurricane season, but the historical peak of activity is September 10th. That doesn't mean that we're still not going to see big storms after that, and actually doesn't even mean that things are going to start quieting down. So what does it mean? The National Hurricane Center looks at every storm that's formed on record in the Atlantic, and it turns out that September 10th just happens to be the most likely date that you'll see them. But the bulk of the action happens from mid-August through mid-October. So we actually still have about five more weeks where water temperatures and wind shear are favorable for strong hurricanes to develop. We're talking Cat 3 or higher, which has happened multiple times in recent years after the peak of hurricane season. In the past five years, September and October are actually both tied for the busiest. From 2016 to 2020, we've seen eight major hurricanes develop in those months. The good news is South Carolina rarely gets strikes from major hurricanes. But the past three major hurricanes to hit South Carolina, Hugo in 1989, Gracie in 1959, and Hazel back in 1954, all hit after September 10th. Hazel actually struck our coastline in mid-October. So you can expect things to stay pretty active for the next couple of weeks in the tropics, but by late October, things quiet down very fast. For News 19, I'm meteorologist Alex Calamia.